Former President Trump was back in court for day two of his civil fraud trial. Kevin Uretsky has more on the court proceedings. This case is a scam. It's day two of former President Trump's fraud trial in New York, and Mr. Trump was once again back in court. Trump, his business organization, and his two sons are all accused of inflating the company's net worth, deceiving banks to get better loans and insurance policies. But Trump's legal team says the financial documents submitted to the banks included a disclaimer stating the information shouldn't be trusted. During a court recess, the former president maintained he did nothing wrong and believes the trial is going well. There can't be fraud when you've told institutions to do their own work. But Trump suffered a legal setback on Tuesday, the judge clarifying that financial documents from 2011 can be used as evidence. After suggesting on Monday that the statute of limitations had run out, which Trump claimed as a win. The statute of limitations uh, is a very real thing in this country. And that would be about 80 percent of this case would be over. The judge now says the statute of limitations bars claims, not evidence. He'll be allowing both sides to connect older evidence to claims in the lawsuit. The judge made this preliminary finding fraud happened. And now this trial is going to be about whether or not the fraud was perpetrated with the intention to commit a fraud. Trump's civil fraud trial is expected to last until December. A judge, not a jury, will determine if he should be banned from doing business in New York and how much he should pay in potential penalties. In New York, Kevin Uretsky, Fox News.